Merhaba, benim adım Çimen Bahri ve ben Berlin'de doğdum ve büyüdüm. Hello, ben Çimen Hello, Bahri. I'm Çimen Bahri. I was born and raised in Berlin. Merhaba, benim adım Derya İşsever. Ben Berlin'de doğdum ve büyüdüm. Hello, Hello I'm, I'm Derya İşsever. I was born and raised in Berlin. Çimen Bahri and Derya İşsever got to know each other while studying in Berlin. In 2010, the freshly graduated fashion designers founded their own label, Ishsever Bakri. Their Turkish roots are a source of inspiration. Their current autumn-winter collection includes simple, understated cuts and coarsely crocheted pullovers. It was inspired by the first generation of Turkish guest workers. Cimen's and Deria's families hardly ever discussed the topic of guest workers. Of course, we weren't interested solely in our own past. We did general research on what the first generation of guest workers looked like, especially their work clothes. That was a great inspiration for us. Workers in Turkey used to go to work in high-necked three-piece suits. But they abandoned this look in Germany and traded it in for these overalls. They're typical work clothes that everyone is familiar with. And this outfit plays on that. This here is the turtleneck in fine silk. We wanted to convey a high-necked look. Our shirts are always buttoned up to the top button. Which is a special one usually, a glass button. Working on the collection made the two designers more aware of their heritage. We've known each other since 2002 and we've never talked about this topic. Like, how do you feel about being Turkish? Actually, in this respect, we don't really make it an issue. We don't feel completely German, nor completely Turkish. We don't really think about it at all. Cimen Bakri's mother comes to their studio in Berlin's Kreuzberg district every day. She encouraged the two designers from the beginning. Semra Bakri has lived in Berlin for more than 30 years and works in a hospital. Her closest friends are of Turkish descent. I feel Turkish. We speak Turkish. And we usually cook and eat Turkish food. Simra Bakri came to Berlin in 1980. Her husband had come in 1971 to work in a textile factory. Chimen and her sisters grew up in both cultures. Everything at home was Turkish. Most of their friends were German. Things are really quite mixed with me. I got married last year, for example, and my husband is German. We have everything now. We celebrate Byram with my family, and we celebrate Christmas with the other family. Deria Ischsever is already third generation in Germany. Her grandparents were among the first guest workers and brought along Deria's mother. Her father came later. Deria grew up in a district with few foreign residents. We speak a mixture of German and Turkish. It just sort of developed that way. We speak a lot of Turkish, but also a lot of German. And sentences with words from both languages. Traditional Turkish crochet plays a big role in their designs. Simra Bakhri does the crochet. Derya Ishsever and Chimen Bakhri combine the traditional technique with modern flair, and the result is successful. Their first collection stood out with black leather crochet incorporated into simple cuts. It won them the 2010 Young Designers Award at a fashion fair in Berlin. The cultural mixture in our collections was important to us from the beginning because we wanted to do something with handcrafting. We wanted to integrate handicraft into the collection. In our first collection, we rediscovered crocheting using leather. 
Häkel neu entdeckt. They both grew up with crocheted doilies and have used them as detailing in their spring summer collection. For the first time, they're also using Oya, the finest crocheted lace and flowers crocheted from silk, an old Turkish handicraft. They commissioned the production of the flowers in Turkey. They've shown their collection in Paris and Istanbul. With designs that pay tribute to their Turkish roots, Cimen Bakri and Derya Ishsever are making a name for themselves in the international fashion scene.